In this video, we're going to talk about how to oil. The first step to oiling is to check the oiling schedule to see what event and what time you need to oil. And then you're going to check the oiling board, which shows what pattern and what lanes need to be oiled for that event. So today's Monday and the women are practicing. So we are going to oil pattern 13 and all of the lanes, which would be lanes one through 10. The next step to oiling is to come into the alley and get Seabiscuit out. So what you are going to do first is to open up Seabiscuit's cage. You're gonna flip this light switch off. You're going to unplug the lane machine. And you're going to take the cord that the lane machine's plugged in with and plug in the backup battery to charge. And then flip the light switch back on. And there should be a flathead screwdriver on top of Seabiscuit's cage for you to be able to twist the black knob that keeps its cover on. And then now you pull Seabiscuit out of his cage and take him to the starting lane. So once you put Seabiscuit on the starting lane, we are going to open the latch and start or turn the power on. So you're going to take the flathead screwdriver and turn the knob so that this part is unlocked. Open this latch. And then you lift this up in order to get to the power buttons. You're going to want to make sure that this button is popped up. It'll make a click noise when you pull it up. This is how you also turn the machine off. And then you're going to hold down the power button until you see that light turn green. And then you can release. Once the machine's on, you can set this latch back down, and then you can leave this open. So before you start the lane machine, you're going to want to open this part and check for to make sure the conditioner and cleaner is full. So you're going to lift up this latch, and then pop this open. It's magnetic, so you have to put a little force behind it. And then you're going to want to make sure that the cleaner and conditioner levels are up to these lines. So after you start the machine, you'll see a blue screen come up and it will start loading all the computer programming. And then once it's completely loaded, there will be this screen. So what you're gonna wanna do is check the voltage of the machine. The machine says 25.4 volts. A full charge is 26.8 and above volts. And if it says anything below 20, you're going to want to attach the backup battery. To start oiling, you're going to click go to starting lane. And the first thing you want to do is change the pattern. So you're going to click on this blue program override. And it will ask for a password and it's just zero straight across and you're going to hit the green continue. Now, as we saw on the oiling board, it says that they want pattern 13. So we're going to click up and the plus sign to go up and then minus to go down. So we're going to go to pattern 13. So once you are done changing the pattern number, you're going to hit go to starting lane. And it will say, please choose your starting lane. So we're starting on lane one. So we can go to go to ending lane. And then we're going to oil all the lanes. So that's gonna be lanes one through 10. So we're gonna enter in the ending lane. We're gonna increase the lane value to 10. And sometimes the coaches will want burn pair out. And what burn pair is, is you just click this button that says burn pair off. You're gonna hit burn pair on. And what that means is that the machine will go over the first two, two lanes twice. But in this case, we don't want a burn pair, so we're going to turn that off. Once you enter in your pattern, your starting lane, and now your ending lane, we're gonna hit start machine. And it will ask, hey, is your info correct? So it will say the name of the pattern right here, which is C Tower of Pisa, set to clean and condition lanes one through 10, which is correct. And then the pattern number will be over here where it says override. If when you checked at the beginning and the machine was below 20 volts, you're going to want to attach the external battery pack and we're gonna show you how to do that now. To attach the battery pack, you're gonna go get the battery pack off of the charger over on top of Seabiscuit's cage. Then you're going to take, put these knobs 
inside of these holes right here. And once they go in, they slide down and lock into the machine. The next part is to plug the blue external battery pack plug into this blue plug right here. Then, since you're using the external battery pack to oil, it asks in the corner using battery pack. So you're going to click that button so that it knows the battery pack is on. Since in this case our machine was at 25 volts, we're going to turn that off and take the battery pack off. All right, so once you make sure that everything is, gonna, is correct, you're going to hit yes, and the machine will start going. So once Seabiscuit is running, you're gonna go to the supply closet and get the things to refill him as well as clean him. Once you're in the supply closet, you're going to want to grab the cleaner funnel, the lane machine cleaning rod, the conditioner funnel, as well as a container of conditioner and a container of cleaner. You're also gonna to wanna to grab the approach cleaner and a rag from behind the counter to clean up any spills. If there are any spills, you need to make sure to clean it up only with the approach cleaner because otherwise soap and water can ruin the approach. Here's everything you're going to need to clean and refill Seabiscuit. Once the machine's done oiling, you're going to turn it off and then you're going to open up the spot where the cleaner and conditioner are. and take the caps off so you can refill it. It's big funnel to big container, little funnel to little container. The big funnel and the big container are the cleaner and the little funnel and the little container are the conditioner. And you're going to fill those up until you reach the lines. So next you're going to take the brush and scrub the blue brush that's inside Seabiscuit to make sure that brush is clean, like so. Then you're going to open the cover, unplug both sides of the waste container, and remove it and bring it to the supply closet to dump it out. When emptying the old oil into the sink, you have to make sure that the end that you dump out of is the end that says empty, shown here. All right, and after emptying it out, you're gonna want, want to run hot water through, through the sink so that the oil doesn't just sit in the drain. Lastly, you're gonna replace the waste container and put it back into Seabiscuit and plug in each end. Then go ahead and close the cover and lock the latches. Use a flathead screwdriver to lock the lid into place. When you pick up the lane machine, make sure you have a partner help you pick it up or you use the lane lift. So lastly, you're gonna flip off the light switch, unplug the backup battery, go ahead and plug Seabiscuit in, and make sure to push in so that it's all the way plugged in. Then you're going to flip the light switch back on and close Seabiscuit's door.